a very nice little meal and now we're off to the museum as you can hear the church is probably very very loud we're going to the DDR museum quite excited about it don't know what else to say apart from let's go Would you drive it? No. <laughs> what? Well, it's kind of cool. It's like vintage. Oh my goodness. Where am I going? Where do I go? Just like. Oh my god, even the car is actually moving, or am I imagining it? No, it's moving. Uh oh. 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 That was a bad move. So is this what it used to look like? Yes. Oh, can you feel the, the pedal? Yes. Oh, it's making me feel sick. Can you imagine I drove like this in real life? Like, I don't think you would come in the car with me. Drive against like a wall. <laughs> that was very successful. That was very successful. Well, no, actually. And I, I have to like correct myself, it's 18 years. No, 16. Oh, sorry. Up to 16 Up years. Up to 16 years if you want one of those babies.
so that's pretty creepy. That's pretty creepy. Please get him. Oh, I think I hate that. What is that for? Is that for like playing? Oh, no, I'm not about that life. So they always had a schedule in kindergarten. So Frühstück is at 8? Well, exactly 20 minutes only. Then you had 10 minutes time for washing your body. Then you were allowed to play 15 minutes. Oh no, Beschäftigung, it's like busy time. And then like half an hour you were allowed to play. You had to eat like um, fruit, oh. fruit breakfast. Then you have to had to wash yourself again. And here, it's like, here, like, from here to here, it's only one and a half hours, you know? What the hell? Like so many activities already. You had to uh, wear clothing. You were allowed to go out for one hour. Uh -huh. Then was like uh, lunchtime. Uh -huh. Then you had to prepare for like a nap. Mm -hmm. Then you had to nap two hours. Then there was uh, like another meal. And then um, you were allowed to play in three hours. <laughs> from the 70s. Here we have a typical prison cell. It's giving me all sort of feels. The bed, the toilet, and then the sink, and that's pretty much it. Quite terrifying, actually. Can you please come here? Yeah. Today there will be no food for you, Was? so that you know. No, that's not okay. <laughs> And we were checking out the prison menu and it actually doesn't seem too shabby. So let's talk about this Michelin star vegan restaurant. I have to say right off the bat that it is a really cool and unique experience and I honestly highly recommend it. I'm gonna get into what we ate, how much it cost, and just generally the experience. So the restaurant is called Lucky Leak and it is located in the area of Prenzlauerberg, I hope I'm saying that right. It's a pretty nice area, so I feel like you could go and do some other activities there before you go to dinner or whatever. It's a nice area to see. So as you walk in on the door, there are a bunch of stickers showing that it has a Michelin star. The whole vibe of the restaurant is very jungle. There was a random gorilla behind me, not a real one, like uh, obviously not a real one, uh, but a drawing of a gorilla behind me just chilling. And it was a bit odd. The wallpaper had this jungle vibe and just the whole area had a jungle vibe, which was pretty unique, I guess. So you could choose either a four course meal or a five course meal. We only went for the four course because I just honestly think that's enough for us. But again, whatever suits you. So for the starter, you don't get to choose. There is just one starter for everyone and that's red cabbage, hazelnut, parsley salad, pea hummus, and cape gooseberry. That's a lot of flavors all in one. I actually really, really like the starter and I'm not usually someone that likes these little like plates with little things and all these crazy flavors, but it worked really well together and actually tasted very nice. So then come the soups and for the soups, there are two options. So the first option is a tomato carrot soup with a baked cheese dumpling and bell pepper relish. And the other option is a truffled celery soup with potato, straw and parsley pistu. Not sure what that is, but both of the soups were pretty incredible. We strategized it so that we 
ordered every single thing on the menu. I ordered one of the options on each thing and Christian ordered the other options so that we could taste it all. I went for the carrot tomato soup, Christian had the truffle soup, and I prefer the tomato carrot soup just because I'm not a massive fan of truffle at all. I mean, anything mushroom, I'm just not about that life. But if you love truffle, it was actually very nice. So then come the mains, and for the mains, again, there are two options you can choose from. The first one is potato wontons, miso pumpkin, roasted pak choy, tomatoes, koji, ricotta, and peanut chili oil. Woo! It was a lot of things in one, but it worked so well together. You have no idea. I mean, I don't even know what half of the things on there mean, but it was pretty good. And then the other one is braised seitan with mushrooms, chestnut, eggplant, gnocchi, and parsley root. I am sure you can guess which one I went for. So I had the potato wontons and Christian had the braised seitan. Both were actually amazing. And the second one, the seitan, actually didn't really taste that much of mushrooms. It was very, very delicious. So many flavors though. It's like an explosion of flavors in your mouth and you don't really know what's going on, but it's pretty damn good. For this one, I would say the seitan was a little bit better. The potato wontons were nice, but the flavor was a little bit less strong. And this time around, I would have preferred it to be stronger just because it felt a little bit bland. But again, it was pretty good. I wouldn't say it was bad or anything like that. And finally, we have the desserts. Again, you can choose between two. The first one is an apple bread and butter pudding with sweet potato cream and plum ice cream. Ooh, I'm just remembering how good it was and I wanna have it again. And then the second option is a homemade cheese variation with bread crackers and fig nut mustard. The cheese platter was incredible. Honestly, so good. I mean, it doesn't taste like cheese. It's vegan, obviously, but it has a similar texture. It looked like cheese, but obviously everything is made from different type of nuts. So you've got a lot of cashews going on and I don't know, other nuts too. And the fig mustard was absolutely, absolute, I can't even speak. That's how good it was. It was great. And the apple bread cake thing, what even was it? I've forgotten. The apple bread and butter pudding. Oh yes. Sorry, it was fabulous. Like, I want to eat it again. It was so good with the plum ice cream. I loved it so, so much. So both desserts were great. I know that when it comes to Michelin star restaurants and fancier restaurants, a lot of people think that they're going to remain hungry because the portion sizes tend to be smaller than they are in a regular restaurant. But trust me when I tell you, you will be so full. See, vegan cuisine tends to use a lot of ingredients that are actually pretty heavy. You know, you have a lot of nuts, you have a lot of legumes. So you do get pretty full and that is why we went for the four course and not the five course because I knew I wouldn't be able to handle two mains. So you definitely will feel fed. All in all, we paid 125 euro and that's with the tip included. And that was for two four course meals along with a drink each. I had a glass of wine, which wasn't the cheapest thing ever and it was only 100 mil, but it was honestly enough for me. And Christian had a pretty large beer. <laughs> that was pretty delicious actually, a good beer. And and we also ordered a bottle of still water. Honestly, I think personally, the price is pretty fair. It's not something you're going to do on a regular occasion. It's a one-off kind of fun thing to do and a cool, unique experience. So I think it's fair. I also highly recommend it for, as I said, maybe a birthday or a special occasion or an event, or even if you just wanna like check it out, like why not? We just went to check it out. We had no purpose <laughs> behind it, apart from I was extremely curious to see what what a Michelin star vegan restaurant is like. And honestly, I'm pretty satisfied. I would give it a solid nine out of 10. There's always a room for improvement, isn't there? <laughs> God, I'm so German. I feel like that's such a German thing to say. <sighs> Soon, maybe we could get our room, but I need to rest 